Alternation of Generations, Wikipedia Article Audio Alternation of generations is the type of life cycle that occurs in those plants and algae in the Archaeplastida and the Heterocantophyta that have distinct sexual haploid and asexual diploid stages. In these groups, a multicellular gametophyte, which is haploid with N chromosomes, alternates with a multicellular sporophyte, which is diploid with two N chromosomes, made up of N pairs. A mature sporophyte produces spores by meiosis, a process which reduces the number of chromosomes to half, from 2N to N. The haploid spores germinate and grow into a haploid gametophyte. At maturity, the gametophyte produces gametes by mitosis, which does not alter the number of chromosomes. Two gametes fuse to produce a zygote which develops into a diploid sporophyte. This cycle, from gametophyte to gametophyte, is the way in which all land plants and many algae undergo sexual reproduction. Definition History The relationship between the sporophyte and gametophyte varies among different groups of plants. In those algae which have alternation of generations, the sporophyte and gametophyte are separate independent organisms, which may or may not have a similar appearance. In liverworts, mosses, and hornworts, the sporophyte is less well developed than the gametophyte and is largely dependent on it. Although moss and hornwort sporophytes can photosynthesize, they require additional photosynthate from the gametophyte to sustain growth and spore development and depend on it for supply of water, mineral nutrients, and nitrogen. By contrast, in all modern vascular plants the gametophyte is less well developed than the sporophyte, although their Devonian ancestors had gametophytes and sporophytes of approximately equivalent complexity. In ferns the gametophyte is a small flattened autotrophic prothallus on which the young sporophyte is briefly dependent for its nutrition. In flowering plants, the reduction of the gametophyte is much more extreme, it consists of just a few cells which grow entirely inside the sporophyte. Animals develop differently. They directly produce haploid gametes. No haploid spores capable of dividing are produced, so they do not have a haploid gametophyte alternating with a diploid sporophyte. Life cycles of plants and algae with alternating haploid and diploid multicellular stages are referred to as diplohaplontic. Life cycles, such as those of animals, in which there is only a diploid multicellular stage are referred to as diplontic. Life cycles in which there is only a haploid multicellular stage are referred to as haplontic. Alternation of generations is defined as the alternation of multicellular diploid and haploid forms in the organism's life cycle, regardless of whether or not these forms are free-living. In some species, such as the alga ulvalaxica, the diploid and haploid forms are indeed both free-living independent organisms, essentially identical in appearance and therefore said to be isomorphic. The free-swimming, haploid gametes form a diploid zygote which germinates into a multicellular diploid sporophyte. The sporophyte produces free-swimming haploid spores by meiosis that germinate into haploid gametophytes. However, in some other groups, either the sporophyte or the gametophyte is very much reduced and is incapable of free living. For example, in all bryophytes the gametophyte generation is dominant and the sporophyte is dependent on it. By contrast, in all modern vascular land plants the gametophytes are strongly reduced although the fossil evidence indicates that they were derived from isomorphic ancestors. In seed plants, the female gametophyte develops totally within the sporophyte which protects and nurtures it and the embryo sporophyte that it produces. 
The pollen grains, which are the male gametophytes, are reduced to only a few cells. Here the notion of two generations is less obvious, as Bateman and de Michel say porophyte and gametophyte effectively function as a single organism. The alternative term alternation of phases may then be more appropriate. Alternation of generations in plants Debates about alternation of generations in the early 20th century can be confusing because various ways of classifying generation CO exist. Initially, Chimiso and Steenstrup described the succession of differently organized generations in animals as alternation of generations, while studying the development of tunicates, nadarians, and trematode animals. This phenomenon is also known as heterogamy. Presently, the term alternation of generations is almost exclusively associated with the life cycles of plants, specifically with the alternation of haploid gametophytes and diploid sporophytes. Fundamental Elements Wilhelm Hofmeister demonstrated the morphological alternation of generations in plants, between a spore-bearing generation and a gamete-bearing generation. By that time, a debate emerged focusing on the origin of the asexual generation of land plants and is conventionally characterized as a conflict between theories of antithetic and homologous alternation of generations. Ilikovsk coined the words sporophyte and gametophyte. Edward Strasberger discovered the alternation between diploid and haploid nuclear phases, also called cytological alternation of nuclear phases. Although most often coinciding, morphological alternation and nuclear phases alternation are sometimes independent of one another, e.g., in many red algae, the same nuclear phase may correspond to two diverse morphological generations. In some ferns which lost sexual reproduction, there is no change in nuclear phase, but the alternation of generations is maintained. The diagram above shows the fundamental elements of the alternation of generations in plants. The many variations found in different groups of plants are described by use of these concepts later in the article. Starting from the right of the diagram, the processes involved are as follows. Variations The alternation of generations in the life cycle is thus between a diploid generation of sporophytes and a haploid generation of gametophytes. A complex life cycle The situation is quite different from that in animals where the fundamental process is that a diploid individual directly produces haploid gametes by meiosis. Spores are not produced, so neither is an asexual multicellular generation that alternates with a sexual multicellular generation. Life Cycles of Different Plant Groups the diagram shown above is a good representation of the life cycle of some multicellular algae which have sporophytes and gametophytes of almost identical appearance and which do not have different kinds of spores or gametes. However, there are many possible variations on the fundamental elements of a life cycle which has alternation of generations. Each variation may occur separately or in combination resulting in a bewildering variety of life cycles. The terms used by botanists in describing these life cycles can be equally bewildering. As Bateman and de Michel say the alternation of generations has become a terminological morass, often, one term represents several concepts or one concept is represented by several terms. Evolutionary Emergence of the Dominant Diploid Phase Possible Variations are There are some correlations between these variations, but they are just that, correlations, and not absolute. For example, in flowering plants, 
microspores ultimately produce microgametes and megaspores ultimately produce megagametes. However, in ferns and their allies there are groups with undifferentiated spores but differentiated gametophytes. For example, the fern Ceratopterus thalactrioides has spores of only one kind, which vary continuously in size. Smaller spores tend to germinate into gametophytes which produce only sperm-producing antheridia. The diagram shows the alternation of generations in a species which is heteromorphic, sporophytic, oogametic, dioicous, heterosporic, and dioecious. A seed plant example might be a willow tree. Starting in the center of the diagram, the processes involved are The term plants is taken here to mean the Archaeplastida, i.e. the Glaucophytes, red and green algae and land plants. Alternation of generations occurs in almost all multicellular red and green algae, both freshwater forms and seaweeds. In most, the generations are homomorphic and free-living. Some species of red algae have a complex triphasic alternation of generations, in which there is a gametophyte phase and two distinct sporophyte phases. For further information, see red algae, reproduction. Similar processes in other organisms. Land plants all have heteromorphic alternation of generations, in which the sporophyte and gametophyte are distinctly different. All bryophytes, i.e. liverworts, mosses, and hornworts, have the gametophyte generation as the most conspicuous. As an illustration, consider a monoicus moss. Antheridia and archegonia develop on the mature plant. In the presence of water, the biflagellate sperm from the antheridia swim to the archegonia and fertilization occurs, leading to the production of a diploid sporophyte. The sporophyte grows up from the archegonium. Its body comprises a long stalk topped by a capsule within which spore-producing cells undergo meiosis to form haploid spores. Most mosses rely on the wind to disperse these spores although Splachnum sphericum is entomophilus, recruiting insects to disperse its spores. For further information, see liverwort, life cycle, moss, life cycle, hornwort, life cycle. Rhizaria Diagram of alternation of generations in liverworts Two single-celled haploid gametes each containing an unpaired chromosomes, fuse to form a single-celled diploid zygote, which now contains n pairs of chromosomes, i.e. 2 n chromosomes in total, the single-celled diploid zygote germinates, dividing by the normal process, which maintains the number of chromosomes at 2 n. The result is a multicellular diploid organism, called the sporophyte, when it reaches maturity, the sporophyte produces one or more sporangia which are the organs that produce diploid spore mother cells. These divide by a special process that reduces the number of chromosomes by a half. This initially results in four single-celled haploid spores, each containing an unpaired chromosomes. The single-celled haploid spore germinates, dividing by the normal process which maintains the number of chromosomes at n. The result is a multicellular haploid organism, called the gametophyte. When it reaches maturity, the gametophyte produces one or more gametangia which are the organs that produce haploid gametes. At least one kind of gamete possesses some mechanism for reaching another gamete in order to fuse with it. Moss Life Cycle Diagram Hornwort Life Cycle Diagram Relative importance of the sporophyte and the gametophyte, equal, filamentous algae of the genus Cladophora, which are predominantly found in fresh water, 
have diploid sporophytes and haploid gametophytes which are externally indistinguishable. No living land plant has equally dominant sporophytes and gametophytes, although some theories of the evolution of alternation of generations suggest that ancestral land plants did, unequal, gametophyte of neum hornum, a moss, dominant gametophyte, in liverworts, mosses, and hornworts, the dominant form is the haploid gametophyte. The diploid sporophyte is not capable of an independent existence, gaining most of its nutrition from the parent gametophyte, and having no chlorophyll when mature, sporophyte of blechnum discolor, a fern, dominant sporophyte, in ferns, both the sporophyte and the gametophyte are capable of living independently, but the dominant form is the diploid sporophyte. The haploid gametophyte is much smaller and simpler in structure. In seed plants, the gametophyte is even more reduced, gaining all its nutrition from the sporophyte. The extreme reduction in the size of the gametophyte and its retention within the sporophyte means that when applied to seed plants the term alternation of generations is somewhat misleading, porophyte and gametophyte effectively function as a single organism. Some authors have preferred the term alternation of phases. In ferns and their allies, including club mosses and horsetails, the conspicuous plant observed in the field is the diploid sporophyte. The haploid spores develop in sori on the underside of the fronds and are dispersed by the wind. If conditions are right, a spore will germinate and grow into a rather inconspicuous plant body called a prothallus. The haploid prothallus does not resemble the sporophyte, and as such ferns and their allies have a heteromorphic alternation of generations. The prothallus is short-lived, but carries out sexual reproduction, producing the diploid zygote that then grows out of the prothallus as the sporophyte. For further information, see Fern, Life Cycle Fungi Slime Molds Animals in the spermatophytes, the seed plants, the sporophyte is the dominant multicellular phase, the gametophytes are strongly reduced in size and very different in morphology. The entire gametophyte generation, with the sole exception of pollen grains, is contained within the sporophyte. The life cycle of a dioecious flowering plant, the willow, has been outlined in some detail in an earlier section. The life cycle of a gymnosperm is similar. However, flowering plants have in addition a phenomenon called double fertilization. Two sperm nuclei from a pollen grain, rather than a single sperm, enter the archegonium of the megagametophyte, one fuses with the egg nucleus to form the zygote the other fuses with two other nuclei of the gametophyte to form endosperm, which nourishes the developing embryo. For further information, see double fertilization. An immobile egg, contained in the archegonium, fuses with a mobile sperm, released from an antheridium. The resulting zygote is either male or female. Dot. A male zygote develops by mitosis into a microsporophyte, which at maturity produces one or more microsporangia. Microspores develop within the microsporangium by meiosis, in a willow the zygote first develops into an embryo microsporophyte within the ovule. At maturity, these structures become the seed. Later the seed is shed, germinates and grows into a mature tree. A male willow tree produces flowers with only stamens, the anthers of which are the microsporangia, microspores germinate producing microgametophytes, at maturity one or more antheridia are produced. Sperm develop within the antheridia, in a willow, microspores are not liberated from the anther, but develop into pollen grains within it. The whole pollen grain is moved to an ovule 
where a sperm is produced which moves down a pollen tube to reach the egg, a female zygote develops by mitosis into a megasporophyte, which at maturity produces one or more megasporangia. Megaspores develop within the megasporangium, typically one of the four spores produced by meiosis gains bulk at the expense of the remaining three, which disappear. Female willow trees produce flowers with only carpels, megaspores germinate producing megagametophytes, at maturity one or more archegonia are produced. Eggs develop within the archegonia, the carpels of a willow produce ovules, megasporangia enclosed in integuments. Within each ovule, a megaspore develops by mitosis into a megagametophyte. An archegonium develops within the megagametophyte and produces an egg. The whole of the gametophytic generation remains within the protection of the sporophyte except for pollen grains. It has been proposed that the basis for the emergence of the diploid phase of the life cycle as the dominant phase is that diploidy allows masking of the expression of deleterious mutations through genetic complementation. Thus if one of the parental genomes in the diploid cells contained mutations leading to defects in one or more gene products, these deficiencies could be compensated for by the other parental genome. As the diploid phase was becoming predominant, the masking effect likely allowed genome size, and hence information content, to increase without the constraint of having to improve accuracy of DNA replication. The opportunity to increase information content at low cost was advantageous because it permitted new adaptations to be encoded. This view has been challenged, with evidence showing that selection is no more effective in the haploid than in the diploid phases of the life cycle of mosses and angiosperms. Angiosperm life cycle Tip of tulip stamen showing pollen Plant ovules, gymnosperm ovule on left, angiosperm ovule on right. Double fertilization Some organisms currently classified in the clade rhizaria and thus not plants in the sense used here, exhibit alternation of generations. Foraminifera undergo a heteromorphic alternation of generations between haploid gamont and diploid agamont forms. The single-celled haploid organism is typically much larger than the diploid organism. Notes and References Fungal mycelia are typically haploid. When mycelia of different mating types meet, they produce two multinucleate ball-shaped cells, which join via a mating bridge. Nuclei move from one mycelium into the other, forming a heterocaryon. This process is called plasmogamy. Actual fusion to form diploid nuclei is called karyogamy, and may not occur until sporangia are formed. Karyogamy produces a diploid zygote, which is a short-lived sporophyte that soon undergoes meiosis to form haploid spores. When the spores germinate, they develop into new mycelia. The life cycle of slime molds is very similar to that of fungi. Haploid spores germinate to form swarm cells or myxomoebi. These fuse in a process referred to as plasmogamy and karyogamy to form a diploid zygote. The zygote develops into a plasmodium, and the mature plasmodium produces, depending on the species, one to many fruiting bodies containing haploid spores. Alternation between a multicellular diploid and a multicellular haploid generation is never encountered in animals. In some animals, there is an alternation between parthenogenic and sexually reproductive phases. Both phases are diploid. This has sometimes been called alternation of generations, but is quite different. In some other animals, such as hymenopterans, Males are haploid and females diploid, 
but this is always the case rather than there being an alternation between distinct generations. Bibliography